Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your second monitor is not detected in your Windows machine. Now, the first method is to check your VGA or HDMI connectivity. First of all, you should try checking out the VGA or HDMI cable connectivity with your PC and the external device because the mostly the physical connection can trigger multiple issues. You can also try using an, another VGA or HDMI cable to cross check the issue. The second method is to check the monitor is powered on. The second thing you can do is is simply check out the monitor whether it is connected to the power source and whether the device is turned on or not. If the monitor's adapter is not connected to the power source or the monitor isn't powered on manually, then there are chances that your Windows 11 computer won't detect the external display whatsoever. The next method is to force detect the secondary screen. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button, then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you will have to go ahead and click on system. Once on the system, you will have to click Click on display now under this section you will have to scroll down and uh, look for the option which says multiple display click on it under this make sure you have all the boxes checked for remember window location minimize windows when monitor is disconnected and ease cursor movement between the displays here make sure you go ahead and choose the option which says detect other displays in case if you are trying to connect your external monitor for the first time and it is not detecting you may go ahead and click on detect and that should detect the external or the additional monitor. Once this is done, uh, you may go ahead and close this window and check if your windows is detecting the external monitor. Now, in spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, the next method, what I would suggest you to do is to update your display driver. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the device manager open, go ahead and expand the display adapters. Do a right click on the display display adapters the default one in my case i have two display adapters one is for nvidia and one is a default one so i will go ahead and update the display drivers for both of these displays so do a right click and then click on update driver and then choose the option which says search automatically for drivers and then click on scan for the updated drivers on the windows update so the, what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are any updates available for the display drivers once it takes you to the windows update option go ahead and click on check for the updates in this way you're actually checking for the display drivers through the windows update in case if there are any updates available go ahead and install those updates and repeat the same step in case if you have a secondary display uh, drivers restart your computer once you restart your computer check if your issue has been resolved this should ideally fix the problem now once you restart your computer check if you are able your computer is detecting the external display so in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next method what you could do is you can make sure both of your screens have the same refresh rate to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on system and then click on display as you scroll down you will see an option which says advanced display so click on it so here now by default you will have your internal display uh, listed up here so click on the list here choose the internal display and make sure the choose refresh rate has been set to 60 hertz even if your display support the higher resolution rate make sure it has been set to 16 60 hertz and then check if your secondary display has been um, listed here and also change the refresh rate to 60 hertz with this you are making sure both of your screens have the same refresh rate once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and check if your external monitor has been uh, detected now in spite of all this if you're still facing a problem the next method is to go ahead and reinstall your graphic or a display driver to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen expand display adapters do a right click and then click on uninstall devices once this is done once the uninstallation has been completed you may go ahead and click on action and then choose the option which says scan for hardware changes so this will your computer will check if there are any hardware changes on the computer restart your computer and then try to check if your external display has been detected by your windows so all these steps should fix a problem so in spite of all this and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day